Lenovo keeps undercutting itself. The third generation of its V15 notebook comes back strong with Alder Lake U-Series processors, which have all the performance that a day-to-day -day user might need. On the outside, it feels just like an IdeaPad 3, with a plastic chassis and an interesting look. The lid has a textured finish that resembles a woven material. Durability is a mixed bag for us. The lid seems to have some support, while the base is flimsier, leading to some flexing when we twist it. On the other hand, the plastic keeps it light, with a weight of only 1.7 kilograms and a thickness of 19.9 millimeters. The lid doesn't open with one hand, despite the slightly protruding top bezel. Still, it houses an HD webcam with a manual shutter, so we can't throw any shade at it. On the base, which has the same patterns as the lid, sits a power button as well as a full-sized keyboard. It lacks a backlight but makes up for it with spill resistance and long key travel. The feedback from it is also clicky, but it's not 100% uniform, as some keys do feel softer. The touchpad comes with a smooth surface while being pretty responsive and accurate. Going to the sides, we find the power plug, one USB Type A 3.2 Generation 1, an HDMI connector, one USB Type C 3.2 Generation 1 port, and a 3.5mm audio jack on the left. Switching sides, we see a security lock slot, one USB 2.0 port, and a LAN port. We could have gone with the full HD IPS panel, but we wanted to remind ourselves why not to choose a TN display. The unit here still has a full HD resolution, but the viewing angles are narrow and the contrast ratio is really low. It also covers only 50% of the sRGB color gamut, which means that the colors aren't very saturated, but we don't expect to see anything different even from an IPS panel at this price point. On the other hand, the display has a pretty fast response time of 13 milliseconds, surpassing some budget gaming devices. It also shows zero PWM usage, which can otherwise be harmful to your eyes. If you want to improve the work of the display, check out our display profiles, which will be linked below. The speaker setup on the V15 Generation 3 provides decent audio, albeit the max volume is a bit low. Still, there are no deviations in the low, mid, and high frequencies, which is admirable. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Despite its low price tag, the laptop offers new hardware, referring to the Alder Lake U series. You are offered three choices, but we settled for the best one the Core Y7-1255U. With its 10 cores and 12 threads, it does well at combating the several Ryzen 5 CPUs, but being weaker than the Ryzen 7U series CPUs, be it the 5825U or even the 5700U. However, the MSI Modern 14 with the same CPU does perform better in Cinebench R23. The lower amount of performance can be due to the cooling, as our stress test shows that the CPU doesn't like to be pushed for longer periods of time. On the other hand, it does very well in short bursts, spiking up to 51 watts in the first 10 seconds of the test, while maintaining 19 watts for more than 15 minutes, which is still higher than the 15 watts base TDP, but that's still lower than what other laptops are able to accomplish. The more relaxed behavior means a quiet machine with a low external temperature. It isn't exactly cool, but at 42 degrees Celsius, there won't be any noticeable discomfort. As for the efficiency of the Alder Lake chips, the Core Y7-1255U goes relatively easy on the minuscule 38 watt-hours battery pack, lasting for 8 hours and 13 minutes of web browsing, or 6 hours and 3 minutes of video playback. On the inside, the laptop has some soldered memory, with either 4GB or 8GB of DDR4 memory, as well as one SODIMM slot for up to 40GB of total memory. For storage, there's one M2 slot for Generation 4 SSDs, while the configurations with a smaller battery, such as ours, have space for a 2.5-inch SATA SSD, with the drive bay being installed. 
We'll link our teardown video in the description below, which shows you the upgrade possibilities and how to access the slots. To keep this short and simple, if you're looking for an affordable daily driver, the Lenovo 515 Generation 3 is for you. It provides a great entry-level experience, especially if you upgrade the display to an IPS unit. Later down the line, you can pop a bigger battery inside, so there's definitely room for improvement. For more tests and benchmarks of the Lenovo V15 Generation 3, check out the written review that we've put together on our website.